hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of minimal logo and minimal stick in a easiest way this one and this one these two reference actually these two inspired from the google and uh, i thought that i should show you how to make this type of logo in illustrator so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first going to the file and taking new options from here 2000 pixel 2000 pixel artboard and color mode rgb if you want to go to print please choose the cmy cap and here provide the name and after that hit the create button and taking the references and other stuffs for the next window and for making the tutorial before we start all the stuffs here i'll take square shape and which is the 2000 pixels and 2000 pixels and hit ok and making it into the middle of the artboard and choose the color from here little bit of dark color dark blue is suggested for this and color code is 051342 and hit ok little bit of dark and like this and lock it up by pressing ctrl or command 2 control for the windows and command for the mac and if you lock it up won't be moved by when you click or move the other stops here i'll draw a rectangle like this making the, this one into stroke mode make the stroke color white because of our background is uh, dark i'll make the stroke size 20 pt or if you want you can make this one increase 100 pt that's good and make this one round like that that's fine and now i'll draw another rectangle actually it would be the square shape like this and make this one circle like this our initial work is ready but this one i should make this one a little bit of high or longer that's good and now i'll make this one 30 degree rotation actually like this and like this so this should be into the proper point of this so controller command y for better view like this that's good and control lock on y so here uh, you can take another triangle to match it properly write down here three you'll get the triangle take this one normal triangle and making this one bigger and like this so it will be our guideline actually that's why i'm taking this so like this and making a stroke and making this one guideline make guideline so this is our guideline and we'll make these things into bigger like this so this guideline will help us to make proper guidelines and lining up so making this one a little bit of bigger in this way that's fine but this thing i should make this one more round and a little bit of bigger okay that's good not too much selecting these two stroke will make it into vector form go into the object and expand this one and hit ok so this one is no longer stroke form now this one is vector form just match with the when i'm just taking this one it's just going to the outside of the guideline so in this situation go, ahead, go to the view smart guide and set, snap to pixels and say snap to point should be on here in the view snap to point okay that's fine and making it zoom and just making this one into the proper way of the guideline so it will help you how to make this one proper uh, into the guideline just because of we want to make this one into the triangle mode so in this area making it zoom it will help you how to make guideline or uh, according to guideline properly so delete the guideline we got our desired shape and making it into the middle of the artboard making it group control command g and making this one into the middle of the artboard and control shift g it will ungroup again okay that's good and now we'll use the gradient i from the color picker taking the, like that and now will reverse it out so our logo shape is ready so another one this one is the stroke one and this one is the non-stroke mode so same way you can make this one non-stroke mode so how to do that so taking this one uh, like this artboard i'll copy this one by pressing alter option button and hit ok that's good and deleting all the stuffs and then same way 2000 pixel and 2000 pixels the artboard uh, actually the background i from the color picker and select the color and lock it up as well because of when we move the object the background will be moved according to that but we don't want to do that here going to here the round rectangle you can take the round rectangle like this that's good and making this one like that the circle ellipse one 
so making the ellipse like this after taking the ellipse you should maintain the guideline so again going to the polygon tool drawing the triangle 100 pixels actually it should be bigger and making this one outline mode actually stroke mode make this one guideline okay after making the guideline uh, we'll make all the stuffs into this so here i'll 30 and uh, it should be reversed like that and proper of the triangle so that's good we match it up and now match it up so here little bit of area press the shift and it will help you out to match properly that's good make it zoom it will help you out to proper match with the guideline so when you making the match with the guideline it should be zooming because of it will proper way okay now into the circle circle little bit of area we got the outside of this so match it okay nice deleting the guideline and select all the stops i from the color picker here is lots of uh, color palettes and uh, g from the keyboard or here is the other way and here you can uh, use a 30 degree yeah that's good because of uh, we got the angle 30 and we use the gradient in 30 which is really match with the each other and uh, the convenient so these two logo you can use everywhere you can make make this one into reverse type and you can also use this type of logo whichever do you want so this is the way how to easily make the minimal logo with the gradient and modern logo so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions queries or requests please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye